What's going on, Clutch Squad? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Duck. It's your boy, Ross. And we in the Clutch, baby. Hey! Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, of the video today, you feel me? This one is a wild one, y'all. Is it? Yes. The video is titled, He Hasn't Slept Since 1962 and what Doctors Don't Know Why by Drew Binksky. I think it's, uh, we checked him out last, uh, the last um, uh, live stream reactions. Uh, I think he was trying to find the, the cannibals, the cannibal tribe. Yeah. So, yeah, man. This nigga this smoking a cigarette in the thumbnail. <laughs> like... Nigga hadn't slept since 62. 1962. That, that, nigga, I get tired sometimes throughout the day. I've been getting tired thinking about that. I've been going busy all day. You know, nigga, you need to take a nap. This nigga hadn't slept since then, smoking a cig. It sounds like they need to uh, induce a coma. I don't know, but we're going to figure out what's going on here. This is going to be very interesting. Someone says, so knock him out. Stop it. Let's get into this. About a year ago, I heard about a man who claims that he hasn't slept since 1962. His name <laughs> is Tai Nop, and he lived somewhere in South Vietnam. Many journalists oh, wow. have written Screaming about him in the for past, and for a while, he was somewhat of a celebrity. But then he went silent. Ten years have gone by, he and nobody sleep. has heard from him since. You stupid. Do you know him? Oh, no, no, no. You don't know him? Right now, I'm on a mission to track him down and see if it's actually true that he doesn't sleep. That's wild, bro. That's crazy. That's insanity. Just arrived in Da Nang Airport. I am so excited to go meet the no sleep guy. Hui, the no hui, sleep hui, guy. Hui, hui, hui. Oh, he's right there. How you doing? Dude, good to meet you. This is Hui. He's a friend of a friend who lives in oui. nearby Hoi An, oui. Vietnam's ancient oui. port town. He oui. was kind enough to join me for oui. the adventure to find oui, oui. Nop. However, there's a little problem. Whoa. Whoa. I'm on the road to Damn. The I think it's just a little bit like this. <laughs> Whoa. The four hour journey to get there was as epic as any can be. He laughing. Bro, he just be finding himself in these dangerous situations every time he's trying to travel somewhere to find something or find a group of people. This nigga got to go through trials and tribulations to get there. God be warning him, bro. He don't be listening. Jesus. I see, I see a video of engines locking up, and he over there just, can we still go the back way? The forbidden way? This nigga was riding on a plane with no air. That should let you know how dedicated this nigga was. Yeah, sorry, bro. <laughs> and we had some pretty cool stops along the way. I was he's trying to the story. To see the golden hand. Oh wow! On the way to the no sleep guy. It's right on the way. I've seen pictures of it on That's Google for crazy. years, and uh, it's pretty cool to be up here. Just a few hours away from the epic Hands Bridge was another really wow. special place with a bunch of ancient temples that date back 1,800 years. We're here in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing around. We just came across this incredible 4th century Hindu temple complex Damn. called Maison, somewhere in central Vietnam. Boy. You know, I came here to go find the sleepless man, but this is absolutely outstanding. The greatest See, that's why I would want to travel over there my mm -hmm. because a lot of other countries, of course, have a lot of a lot more artifacts from that date back centuries, not mm -hmm. centuries, but um, ye thousands of years ago. Mm -hmm. Not fact. And we don't know where to locate Mr. Nock, but after translating some old newspaper articles, we narrowed it down to one village. So can you asking the local people there if they recognize him? What's good? What's good, man? With his Thank name, you joining in. Nock, if I said it right. And on the bottom it says the man who doesn't sleep. I'm getting a lot of funny stares in the street, but it's yeah, all, it's all friendly. Everybody's smiling. Bon COVID need not come. She knows him. She know him, but she no white man. Don't know him. Where is the him house? <laughs> bro, she was only like, get your ass up out of here, white boy. Don't trust you, white man. Oh, white man like, coming with a picture. So what was she say? To go straight and up. I think we should buy some gift for him. Get some oranges. Yeah, dragon fruit. Yeah. Oh damn! Look at all the fruit we got. Yeah. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. What? For Ten bucks. Yeah. That'd have been a hundred dollars out here. Bro, what the fuck? He said ten bucks, and he's lifting bags of fruit. And that was a watermelon too. Nigga, hell nah, bro. 
Bro, what the I fuck? I just went to the store, so I already know that's. And that just made me mad. And Bro. And with that, we have some idea as to where he might be. I spoke to another local person <laughs> and he just he lived in a blue house just outside of town. So I hopped in a motorbike and headed through the field. Hey, no sleep. Some him. white man looking for you. Yeah, no sleep. No white man looking for you. I was on the house. The picture, the picture. Yeah, that's him. Is that him? Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, this nigga yeah. just walk up uh, with a Tinta. cigarette. <laughs> What's good, y'all? I've been here the whole Tinta. time. <laughs> Tinta, Tinta, Tinta. How are you? With the okay. scene, I know we kind of showed up unexpectedly, but I hope is it's okay that we spend some time with him. Yeah, yeah. 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 he signed up uh, at the moment. He uh, 80 years old. 80. Yeah. Wow. So he wants to sleep. He wants to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> what? When is the last time that you saw? I don't know, bro. Yeah, he said uh, it's a long time that you don't remember. It's pretty wild that I found him. Yeah, Mr. Nope. Nope. Yeah, nice nope. house. Here we are. Yeah. Just a smiling man. <laughs> Just a smiling man, <laughs> tired as hell. Nope is finally over. Can you believe that it took me three total days of travel time from Arizona to Vietnam to find him? Damn. Now I am on a mission to learn all about his life and see if it's actually true that he hasn't slept in over 60 years. Damn. You know, the fact that he hasn't slept means he's almost twice his age because he's spent more time awake than anyone else's age. So he might as well be- Bro, technically, yeah. Pretty much. If y'all really think about it, the amount of time you, you're sleeping, you're supposed to get at least eight hours. You know what I'm saying? So that portion of your day is supposed to be dedicated to your body resting and recuperating. Mm -hmm. But if you never sleep, that means you're up 24 hours a day, 365. So you just up. Dry up. That's, this nigga say dry up. You dry up. Smoking what you doing ciggies, right now? Bro. Up. Smoking on them ciggies. Cooling. Smoking on a smoking on multiple cigs, just but up. he don't. But you know what's crazy? He don't look grumpy. Like yeah, you know, like you would probably be like, I'd be insane. bro. That bro, I, that that sounds that's like torture, bro. That's miserable. One day of no sleep, bro. You'll be going insane. Bro. I remember as a kid, I tried to see how long I could stay up, bro. Man, dog, what's Terrible. the? It, that was a horrible <laughs> idea. And I failed miserably because I went right to sleep. <laughs> I was out. Dog. I had to, I had to yeah, do that before. Oh, for real? Yeah, I was uh was out one night with the homies. Oh, we went to Galveston, and then I had a, a five a.m. shift at H E B. Ooh. I picked up a I picked up an extra shift, so we I left. I had enough time to go home from kicking it to get dressed to go to work, and I was at work until that night. Mm 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 mm. Body, body just depleted, shot. bro. <laughs> no, you are below E. Just yeah. and I was young, so I can imagine yeah. being eighty. Come on, bro. Some of y'all said I was tripping. So some of y'all have been up more than uh twenty four hours at one time. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think we all have at one point, but just the fact that some of y'all did like most. Someone said most three days. Mm -hmm. Jeez, bro. His wife was super friendly and started cutting up the fruit that we brought over. And then I learned that they are very spiritual people. Hmm. Okay, okay. Praying Buddhism to sleep. is the main religion of Vietnam. The Buddhists believe that the human life is one of suffering and that meditation, spiritual and physical labor, and good behavior are the ways to achieve enlightenment or nirvana. Mm. Many Buddhist people have these shrines in their house and pray to them several times a day. It's a beautiful sight to witness. In the evening, like what do you do? Like most most people, they, you know, 10 o'clock, they, uh -huh. they sleep. Yeah. What are you doing between 10, 11, 12, 1? He also working in the nighttime, making rice wine. Rice wine. Oh, so like wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Before the war, you slept. At what point did you stop sleeping? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. During the war. During the war. Yeah. And then one day he just stopped sleeping. Yeah. Do you know why you can't sleep? Ah, uh, no, no, no. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, he don't know yet. He went before. Yeah, yeah. And what did they say at the hospital? <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> Mr. Nop's wife is preparing lunch for us. It's only like 10 o'clock right now, so she's been cooking, and it smells amazing. She's been cooking. 
Nice to meet you. What do you think about him not sleeping? He feels kind of normal now. <laughs> so you, you sleep. <laughs> He's like, hell yeah, I hell sleep. Hell yeah, boy. Breakfast, I was just sleeping. Served, and I, I just woke up. Vietnamese food is one of the world's best. It's healthy, it's clean, and it's plentiful. Nothing like a little shot before lunch. Lemon? <laughs> She make everything Look like it. this morning. Thank you, Kamlan. It, it, tell her that it looks amazing. So what is this? What, this is chicken? Yeah, chicken. This is a soup? Soup. Pork soup. soup. This is a plate of congealed Chocolate. cow blood, and you just put it in the soup or eat it as is. More wait, chicken, wait, rice, wait, 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 and this wait, wait, wait. is always got to have. What did you say? See, this cow blood? Cons wait. <laughs> She make everything this, this morning. Thank you, Kamlan. It, it, tell her that it looks amazing. So what is this? What, this is chicken? Yeah, chicken. This is a soup? Soup. Pork soup. This is a plate of congealed cow blood. And congealed cow blood. That's a first. I didn't know that was a thing. It's congealed cow blood. You just. That's, that's why the nigga ain't sleeping. Put in the shape of a bar of soap in. This nigga ain't sleeping. I thought that was chocolate. I was like, right. boy, I would have, hell yeah. Right. <laughs> I would have threw that shit out. I thought that was like fresh chocolate from. Bro, I was like, oh, hell yeah, give me some of that chocolate. Yeah, or fudge bars or something. I would would have threw up, bro. Yeah, Just... See that chocolate conjured shit? Oh, Ooh, right. Blood More fudge. Chicken. <laughs> More chicken, rice, and this is all right. we got to have some kind of dipping sauce here. <laughs> Wow, this is this is a. I would. I'm definitely staying away from that. I'll eat everything else. Yeah. That, oh, the cow bricks. <laughs> You're a lucky man because she's a very good cook. I'm going to understand. Like, you saying? Yeah, All right, yeah. gonna try the no. chunk of blood. You dip it in the salt and pepper. Okay. A little salt and pepper. Uh, did you hear it? Kind of like rubber. Uh, I heard the the squeeze. What the fuck was oh? And you don't want to be rude. I heard the fuck I, that. <laughs> nigga, my body where's McDonald's. My body all that. cringed internally, fuck bro. All just all that, bro. Oh, that's our, that's our problem. We think we can go places and just eat everything. Hell nah, bro. This shit gonna have it your body. It tastes kind of like blood. If you have a cut, you do this. But it's um uh -huh. not as strong. It's 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 good. What? You like it? Good well. Tastes kind of like blood if you got a cut. <laughs> He's going to finish my blood. What do you think about it? Yeah, you like it and gave it to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah, like that. Dumb yeah, ass. yeah. yeah. Man, is it true? <laughs> so it's, it's true. It's true. Yes. He doesn't sleep. When is the last time you saw him in a, in a deep sleep? <laughs> Never? Really? Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> Damn. Do you yeah, see? I'm having a shot of, wine, of of rice wine every 30 minutes. Every 20 minutes. Wait, did it skip? Here, here comes another one. No. That was just good. Yo. Yo. Oh, they Yo. Them get lit. <laughs> I bet that hoe. Bro, that hoe is strong. Holy I know he did that hoe. Yeah, a little cow blood oh. and that mixed. Oh yeah. Ooh, well. my man gonna be drunk. <laughs> it's strong. Yeah. Apparently, it's forty percent. Yep. Ooh. That's the same strength as vodka. It's strong. More than an hour. Bro, he making that shit at the crib, and it's forty percent. Make it. Oh too. nah, bro. Somebody said they eating cat, y'all. <laughs> you still went by, and I was starting to get comfortable with Mr. Nope and his wife. I will say though, it was a bit strange that he only took three bites of food. The drinking, however, never stopped. I think Andre has to take it. I don't think you have a choice. All right, here's where things start to get interesting. Mr. Nope cameraman. invited me to visit his house, which I realized he's talking about another house, the one that he lived in during the war in the 1960s when his sleepless nights began. Okay, so that's his home? Yeah. <laughs> And he's still Papa was a rolling you know, stone. Yeah. Where he worked. He and him son working over there. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful here. It's like a little pocket of green mountains, rice fields, terraces, and a house. And that's where he lives. We're going to go there right now. <laughs> Somebody said that rice wine keeping so him up. Surreal. Yeah, I'm cool. Swamp. All wet because of the, the storm. Exactly. 
So you have many jobs. You're you're rice wine and you're a farmer. Like you're working 24/7. Damn. You're a superhuman. <laughs> yes. Yeah, He's like, yeah, I know. Yeah. So I have a question about your sleep. When yeah. you're working, do you feel tired? Not not too much like a uh, normal people. How? <laughs> What's your secret? Like, like is it the tea that you drink, or what's there's some secret the rice, that you have? The rice one. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They he normally drink the tea, green tea and rice wine. <laughs> how much? How I much wine you, do you? Bro, hold on. Yeah, rice, <laughs> rice wine. We wine. Might need some of that, bro. Rice wine is really the super soldier serum. Some of that <laughs> rice wine. You keep that cow blood. <laughs> I'm ready to go all night, baby. I don't need the blue chew. I got the rice wine, baby. Blue chews and honey packs going out of business, baby. Give me a shot of that rice wine. I'm going to make you wine. <laughs> I put on genuine. That's wild. Drinking one day, yeah. He's like, Yes, <laughs> oh, one shit. if you could sleep, do you want to sleep or you prefer to stay up all night? Yeah, he wish can sleep. Can I ask him about his hand? Uh, what happened here? Yeah. American war. Oh, wow. Oh, oh yeah, yep, exactly. Yo, ass. You said American war, you, yeah, buddy. Yo, ass, boy. yo, people, buddy. Yo, exact kind, too. Yeah, yo, kind. Yep. Did this shit. You see, motherfuckers. Okay? I mean, the... Yeah, I think, okay. Just walking in the. Yeah, with the left hand. Yeah, left hand. Even though Mr. Nob dismissed my concern about his hand, I still have a feeling that there's a reason he won't open up about the Vietnam War. Or yeah. as they call it out here, the American War. Yeah. To summarize, this era of heartbreak is near impossible. But what you should know is that the war was fought between the communist government of North Vietnam and the anti-communist South. The allies of the North were primarily the Soviet Union and China, whereas mm -hmm. South Vietnam was supported by the United States. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you've seen the footage and listened to the music from the 1960s. A large portion of Americans took to the streets in protest against the U.S. involvement in the mm -hmm. war. In the end, around 4 million Vietnamese civilians were killed in this bloody conflict. I can't even begin to imagine what life was like for Mr. No was got involved. People were like, hey, man, why y'all getting involved? What are y'all doing? Sounds about right. Sounds That's about... <laughs> Sounds about white. <laughs> trying to tell y'all. Not just to live through the war in his adulthood, but also to fight in it. It really makes me wonder, could PTSD have something to do with his condition? If I was awake 24-7, I would need a place to hide out like this. It's just absolutely surreal to be here. And this is the house, right here. During the war, he kind of hid out in this place, and he's basically been awake since he moved into this house. That could be a possibly be a thing. It is. Yeah, not for sure. So, I don't have a place to sleep tonight. I haven't booked any places, and I assume that there were hotels around here or something. He offered that we could crash here, like in this house. So I'm gonna take him up on it. It's gonna be pretty interesting. <laughs> Tell me about this house. This like, nigga just you, be doing and sleeping did you build anywhere. This house with your hands, or when did you move here? <laughs> the first time he come here around, yeah, 1945. 45? Damn. You have two houses, so why do you come to this one? At the moment, he saw that the him son still live here mm. with no wife. Him son with no wife. <laughs> no yeah, wife. yeah. And he and him son come here and stay a little bit and work in here. Night time he work in house, <laughs> just make some wine. I want to stay awake with you <laughs> in the night and just talk and eat and I don't know watch TV like whatever you do at night. I wanna I wanna be there with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you want to make the uh, rice wine tonight? <laughs> Why yeah, yeah. yeah, make that yeah, 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 I love you. Right. If you could say any message to people in the world, what would you what would you tell them? If the government or the some fund have uh, some money for him to to make him better and he can sleep, because at the moment he want to sleep. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, Maybe I can I can send him to the hospital. If he wants to go, I, I'll, I'll pay for his hospital. Mm -hmm. So he has, he has another house. This is just one of his houses where Nigga. he works and he sometimes... Nigga, it's just shit. It's just one of the cribs. Yeah, bro. He been sleeping. I mean, he been up nonstop. Shit. He... Better, make, better be making yeah, something out of right. it, right? Can't be a, 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 a wait 24-7 bum. Another house. He has three houses. 
I'm confused. He keeps telling me about houses, houses. This is his working house. This Damn. Is a new house. Damn. Built three months ago. Damn. Another house that he stays at. Damn. Why oh, boy, got a white house? He does in the nighttime, like. Oh, that's a flex, bro. That's, that's low key a flex, bro. That's a flex. I mean, once again, like you said, you up 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365. <laughs> you better have you multiple cribs. Right, you man. better have you multiple opportunities and options right. to stay. To not get sleep at. <laughs> playing with y'all, Daytime, he seems normal. He's hanging out, but like, got the everybody's oh. sleeping. <laughs> what has he been doing for the last six years? What's your favorite restaurant here? I will take you tonight. My treat. Does, he, <laughs> does he drink coffee? Uh, he don't need no coffee. <laughs> no. Give him yeah. that rice wine. <laughs> Have a coffee. Maybe if he drinks a lot of rice wine, he will sleep. A lot of wine. Yeah, yeah, rice. Right. When he win a lot, like a one liter or something, he sleep sleep a little bit, one hour or two hours. Okay, so I just uncovered one clue. He does sleep if he drinks a lot of wine, yeah, like a one. A liter? That's a lot of fucking wine. I want y'all to understand. And that's a forty percent bottle. That ain't no. Regular. A liter, bro, may give him two hours of sleep. A liter. He gotta get knocked out, KO, to even take a nap. That's bro. This nigga gotta get slumped to take he, a nap, bro. That's dog, and he eighty. That's that's insanity, bro. One liter. Yeah, uh, but it kind of stop thinking into the head, and he sleep in one hour or two hours, then back at the normal. Because his body is probably already just it's super lit. It's like the Flash. You know how the Flash can't drink. Because his body would already sober him up too fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he could yeah. never get drunk. Yeah, that's that's kind of the same thing here. He he would have to he would have to force his body to get drunk. To on it. Yeah, that's the only way he could sleep. Does he know if there's any more people in the world that don't sleep? Yeah, I'm God. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God. Oh God. That's Mr. Nolte and I motorbike back into town to his favorite restaurant. Oh, Have I mentioned that the too. countryside here is absolutely epic? What's up, Tindy? Appreciate you. Coming. We arrived at dinner stream. and immediately entered into a wild scene. My name. What's your name? Hey. Yeah. Ask, ask them if it's. If suspect it's true, hell he no doesn't sleep if they know about it yeah yeah it's, it's true yeah. no sleep yeah sleeping no sleep no sleep yeah no we're not my name no no you you don't like beer no beer only he wants uh right I... uh, give him that the right word one. of the day is yo which means cheers yo yo hey yo 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 yo, yo. yo. I hope I'm doing that at 80 years old, just downing beers. Hey, tell me about him. <laughs> what oh, this nigga swallowed that hoe, man. Look, look, bro, at 80. That's. He, hey, he would have turned. Think... He would have turned up for uh, for our little Cindy this past week. He would have oh, been in that. Yeah, he he would have been, been like... in that. Mm. Mm. Just vibing, bro. I'm just vibing with my. I'm not the guy. The man have a the house over there and just five or six, around five six years ago, working in the rice field at the midnight. Wow. We're sitting here eating a communal food, and he's only had like one bite, so I'm starting to get worried that he also doesn't eat. It seems like you don't eat that much either. What are he doing over there? Yeah, what the hell is he doing over there? We have arrived to house number three. House number it's three. quite different than the other two. A little more open, blue, very blue. And this is where he makes and drinks his rice wine. He makes it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that. This boy got that laugh. This boy. <laughs> <laughs> he love that shit, boy. That rice wine be hidden. <laughs> I know that shit. That shit. Put a couple hairs on his chest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a really bad version of soju. It's so natural. The smell is so so strong. Now? Huh? He can't uh, even take as it. As the night progressed, yeah, so did he the making of rice wine. He's strong ass shit all day. Oh, we found the, look at this concoction over here. This is where he cooks it. Yeah. Bro. This Every nigga night. Every night. Yeah. Every oh, night. I'm well happy. Uh, mm -hmm. 
water inside us. He drives inside us from frozen wine. Oh, he puts the bottle there? Yeah. Take me the bottle in here. And then the rice wine come out. Sneaking out. Is he going to be here tonight making the rice wine? A mouth of rice. Oh, liquor. Yeah, yeah, I would love to come. Yeah, I just need some to drink, you know? Take a drink with me. I want tired. to see you in the nighttime. Yeah. I make sure that it it's basically like <laughs> close to Vietnam moon. Like pigs. That's basically Whoa, there's pigs, bro. What the fuck? That's random. <laughs> Yo, there's pigs just out of nowhere. So he has pigs here for for food to eat. Yeah, to sell in the market. Uh. Mm -hmm. I'm back at house number one, house number 8, 57 p.m. Where the wife at? And I'm gonna attempt to stay awake all night, see if it's true if he actually doesn't sleep all night. Nigga, I'm tired. You are, yeah. It's gonna be a wild right. night. Good luck, my boy. You gonna need you a couple of shots of coffee or something. Cause my man, he up. I'm not watching no boring ass show. I may or may not have fell asleep a little bit in the house. I know yeah, you did. I'm so tired, but I woke up and he was gone. <laughs> so we think that he's at the his other house making this nigga rice said, wine. Hey man, y'all bullshit. We're locked up in the house. We couldn't find the key, so we have to walk. Thirty minute walk. Damn. We found ponchos at someone's house, so we ejected him, and we're gonna go bring him back. They were on the porch. As you can see, nobody is awake. You better stop Everybody's joking about sleeping. that, boy. We made it after thirty minute walk in the rain. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm good. So I do this every day, bro. Come on. Hey, what the oh, hell you the fuck? Hey, bro, how the fuck y'all get here, man? What the, who let y'all in, bro? I locked the motorbox up, man. Hey, how y'all hey, get here? What y'all doing in here, bro? Just making my, my normal shit. <laughs> my rice one. He doesn't sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, we found him. He told us we are so good to find this house. Are you tired? My dog, my dog. No, no. No? No. <laughs> Everybody is sleeping. We just walked here. Nobody is awake, except for you. So his rice wine factory is pretty damn impressive and he cares a lot about it. The entire thing is handmade and he's able to produce gallons and gallons of it every single night for both personal consumption and selling it in the market. Is this his secret sauce to being able to stay awake forever? Copious amounts of rice Not wine that. and cigarettes? How much does it sell for one 10 years? Let, let me have it. Một lít là 200 à? Hay là cả bình? Yeah, good five liter is 100,000 down and 10 is 200,000 down. How do you feel that you know. everybody's sleeping but you're awake? Uh, when you go. Yeah, kind of okay now because it's a really long time. But it's kind of fun for me or for you or something like... I'm tired, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, right. 3.32. Yeah. I'm tired. Yeah, he brought shots. Yes, this nigga still got Yo, We don't sleep around here. The take party this goes shot. on all night, baby. It's, He's it's the definition old. of live like today is going to be your last. And bro, you literally. Oh, oh, in the morning, niggas still taking shots. He not human, bro. He not human. Yo, yo. yo. This nigga smoking and taking shots all day. And he's 80. What, what have they been telling us? Don't, like don't smoke, <laughs> don't drink, and he he's literally a healthy healthy guru's nightmare. He's right. the intensity of it. He's like, nah, that's nah, bro. Fuck that. Fuck what you talking about. We stay up all night. We drink all night. We smoke every day. The fuck are we talking about? And we don't get tired. <laughs> you ready for don't sleep? Tired. This nigga about to pretend to ah. play sleep. <laughs> This nigga get in the mood. So sometimes he lays down, but he just doesn't sleep. At house number two or three. But he because he wants to sleep like a normal people. Guy. This is up. Still thinking in the in the brain. I'm tired. You're tired? <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. Bro, I'm tired, man. Maybe we can get some breakfast. What time do people eat breakfast here? Six. But it's on the weather. It's it's raining. It's raining. Yeah, it's raining. Yeah, it's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Oh, I ain't four now. That'll really, really put me to sleep. Yeah. He said yep. he keeps giving me more wine. Really Look, he's just over there smiling. Drink mm -hmm. up, my boy. I don't know why. No, it's okay. <laughs> he keeps trying to get me to sleep, but I'm trying to stay awake with him. Yeah, go to sleep, bro. This nigga still. Just witness him lay down, and I thought he was going to close his eyes. They just remained open. And then after five minutes, he sat back up again. And then he's just sitting here on the side of the bed. 
guy doesn't sleep. That's wild, bro. Puffing on that damn Siggy, bro. <laughs> it is not like it's up there. It is 441 now. My friend Hui has fallen asleep. We said, get y'all. And Mr. Nope. I don't know what he's doing now. He's making a fire. It's still raining outside. This guy doesn't stop. Doing the Asian squat. 80, bro. 80, 80 squatting like that, dog. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want y'all to understand. This nigga's younger than us <laughs> that can't squat like that. Yeah, he just chilling, bro. This dude is 80 years old hitting a deep squat like yeah. it ain't nothing. Like it's nothing. He just chilling. Yeah, bro. Yeah. This is truly amazing. <laughs> We can't talk to each other, but as I always say, everybody smiles in the same language. <laughs> Somehow just we can just sit here existing and, together. and uh, existing. get along. It's pretty cool. Update. It is 5.39 in the morning. The sun is coming out, and uh, I made it. Clearly he made it. I actually barely made it. <laughs> Clearly, uh, he I'm made so it. tired that I might have lost her words. <laughs> and get got on there right off. I wonder what he was doing. This <laughs> auto picking up is right in your cup. <laughs> or bottle, because the bottle will be better because it's larger. Yeah. You know, my life is always so go, go, go. And so it's really kind of nice to hit the brakes and just sit here and do nothing. Literally. I keep thinking to myself in my head, like, what are we going to do next? The sunrise just came out. 6 15 in the morning but the answer is nothing we're just gonna sit here and look around wait that nigga been we you get your ass up we what's up bro yeah. Yeah. i think she's talking to me about getting coffee but that's some good sleep right there boy yeah that's strict wants to go to breakfast with us we uh we uh, we, we still uh, tired bro yeah yeah it's too early for him <laughs> oh my baby don't want to go there too early he doesn't sleep Early for breakfast to him. <laughs> bye bye. In the blink of an eye, he just left to go feed his chickens at one of his other houses. So I might go get some breakfast and uh Dog, like he out. ain't been I'm up tired. all night. Bye bye. And back into the rain we go. The poncho game is strong in Vietnam. It is always raining. And they're always on motorbikes. It's amazing how early everybody wakes up and eats breakfast in Vietnam. It's like 6 10 a.m. Damn. And there's a giant bowl of pho being prepared. A who? Wow, look at this bowl. Oh. Man. Oh, man. Oh, that is so tasty. It's not very often that I meet superhumans. One of them was Wim Hof for his ability to withstand sub zero temperatures. Another was Dan Meyer. Hey! You can swallow multiple swords at once. I don't know about that one. <clears throat> I say, of course he would be. He, of course he would be in America. <laughs> What's your talent? Shit, I can swallow swords. How did you discover that, young man? Is my next question. We not signed him up for the Avengers. I just want you to know that now. The nigga that can survive in sub-zero temperatures, maybe, but he's from Russia. I want to say that was Russia. <laughs> Let me make sure. Oh. So I don't want to. <laughs> Oh, man. oh, that is so tasty. It's not very often that I meet superhumans. One of them was Wim Hof for his. Oh, no, that's not Russia. Uh, what country is that, actually? That's very interesting. Oh, water had a kick to it. Red, <laughs> white, and blue. Um, what country is that? That is. Someone said Dutch? To the end. Netherlands? I think that's the Netherlands. Netherlands? Okay. Oh, you was you was spot on. You said it starts with an end, so you spot on. To withstand no, sub zero temperatures. Another was Dan Meyer, the guy who can <laughs> swallow multiple swords at once. And then there's Sultan Kosan, the tallest man on earth. Jeez. But something is extra unique about the sleepless man. I came here to investigate and see if it's actually true. Does he hey, sleep or not? That's our own group of Avengers, though. Is both yep. yes and no. 
He says he doesn't sleep, but I believe that he does lay down sometimes. But his body turns off, but his brain doesn't turn off. Oh. I think his brain is always going, and that is just absolutely so that he don't sleep. surreal. It seems pretty clear to me that the war has had a major impact on Mr. Nup's sleepless condition. But I wonder if we will find out if this is the truth. I also think that he just doesn't need as much sleep as we do to function normally. He's out here living life, working two jobs, and he's super busy. It is obvious that two secret ingredients help keep him going, and that is rice wine and cigarettes. Yeah, somehow. And a lot of both. Damn yeah. After spending two days with him, I'm going to assume that he smokes 70 cigarettes a day and drinks half a liter of rice wine per day. <laughs> and this dude is 80 years old, fam. <clears throat> Dog. 80. How? 76 a day? I wonder what's in that rice wine, though. It gotta be something. It gotta be, bro. Because this nigga drink that shit like it's water and be fine. All in all, I am so happy I came out here to meet him, and this is really no a story about Vietnamese okay, hospitality. Right. I showed up at their doorstep, unannounced, with nothing planned, and he and his wife welcomed me in with open arms, cooked me food, uh, <laughs> and to show my appreciation, I gave Mr. Nolp 500 bucks that he can hopefully oh, use to go to the hospital to get healthy. In any regard, thank you for being here and watching what this you mean, story. get healthy? one of the most special ones I've ever told. Yeah, he, and my he, stories I are think just he's fine, more bro. More epic. So you get healthy. You yeah, I think he's fine, bro. bro I think he's doing healthy. okay. Yeah, I don't think he needs to get healthy. I think he's doing A-okay oh to be 80. 80 years old and still doing it. You barely can squatting. hang with him. Yeah, you can't yeah. Even hang with him. He's still squatting and chilling and sitting you, on baby stools. He don't need to get. You know what he gonna spend some of that money on? Some of the stuff at his multiple cribs. Get some more cigs yeah. and get some more stuff to make some more of that rice wine. Oh, there sure. it is. The rice nigga. wine business finna be up. Yeah, the fuck that nigga. He don't need healthy. I'm good, my boy. I truly think the mind and body is stronger than what we think when it comes to like, you know. Um, being at peace. Yeah, bro. He's like, he, he just and for someone that's been in a war, I'm sure he has those memories. But to be just at the peace he's at right now, mm -hmm. that's 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 all you really need. Sometimes that's all you really need. Sometimes, bro. Yeah, no, nah, for sure, bro. Hey, man, that was a doozy, fam. That was like, crazy, man. Very interesting. Very, very educational and interesting. Again, my uh my other counterpart of people did everything they could to make this video for us because I couldn't see myself flying out there three days to go meet a dude that I didn't even know where he stayed at. I had to take a yeah. piece of paper and walk around and yeah. say, hey, do you know him? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And that's pretty wild business right there, but... Pretty wild, uh, but... Uh, he, he made it work, man. He made, he the made it work! Him, so Damn, man. If, uh, if y'all enjoyed it, you already know what to do. Make sure you want to like, subscribe, Woo. continue to spread love, be love, and let's see how long... Well, I ain't even gonna say that. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.